Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of uh, Unique Items. Today we're going to be going over a Druid Unique, a new ring, that is called... Aridaz Inexorable Will. This is a uh, new unique ring that's coming on November 7th, and um, it looks pretty nice. This is the power that we actually had access to in the... You know the season of the malignant, and um, honestly, it was kind of insane. Uh, this will be dropping from Varshan in uh, World Tier Four. I do not know about World Tier Three, but we'll find out. And uh, we also don't know how rare it is, so who knows? We might be farming Varshan for a while, so you might want to save up some of your Varshan mats. Now, this particular ring. Um, has 5.5% resistance to elements. Of course, if you get a higher item power, I believe that goes as high as like 10 or I think like 11.5%. Uh, also, it has lightning resistance, the same thing, about 11.5%. Uh, we also get 9.3% willpower, which rolls between 4.9 and 10.5%. Now, I was actually pretty surprised to see a percentage-based willpower increase on a ring. It normally is something that you only see on an amulet. And 10.5%, which I'm assuming goes up much higher when you actually upgrade it, kind of seems insane. Uh, I don't really know exactly what they were thinking with this one, because obviously willpower is the main stat on the druid. And um, on top of that, it also just, you know, in general, gives them lots of, uh, of damage output, right? And having a really big scaling willpower on a ring like that seems pretty, pretty ridiculous. Uh, it also comes with 16.5 to 23.5 damage to close, uh, 3.2 to 6% lucky hit, and 4.4 uh, to 10% ultimate skill cooldown reduction, which of course is pertinent to the skill itself, which is the main focus of the ring. Now, this is when casting an ultimate, and again, five seconds after, and again, five seconds after, you pull in distant enemies and deal 2,484, which does vary from 1,380 to 2,760, physical damage to them, which I'm sure will go up quite a bit when you find, like, a 925 version. Um, the, this damage is increased by 1% times per point, per one point of willpower that you have. Which means that you get to scale the pull-in damage with your willpower, and they give you this huge bonus to your willpower too, which is kind of crazy, right? Now, I actually saw quite a few people use this and used it myself, and I, I remember the giggling laughter as people would pull in monsters while on their horse. Apparently, you could ride around and you could you could literally just like press you could press your ultimate get on your horse and ride around and drag all the monsters with you like it was absolutely insane and um and although some people didn't actually utilize this in their end game build <laughs> it was uh, kind of nuts now of course for ultimate abilities there's quite a few ultimate abilities that you can utilize with this thing so if we take a look at the skill tree real quick and we go down to the ultimate abilities Obviously, if you're using Grizzly Rage, which Grizzly Rage or Werewolf Rage, depending on which version you're using, um, is a pretty common one to get lots of additional damage. And thankfully, with the Vampiric Powers, there's things like Anticipation and Hectic, which can help you keep the cooldown of Grizzly Rage to basically nothing. So you can potentially spam this pull-in quite a lot. Um, also, we got Lacerate, we have Cataclysm, and also Petrify, all of which can be utilized to pull in the monsters. Now, I do remember specifically Leon, when we were playing uh, on the Druid, saying that Petrify worked really good with this particular power, because it obviously petrifies all of them, or stuns them. And so when it pulls them all in, well, they can't fight back, because... It pulls them in, and then they are stunned when they are pulled in, which makes them absolutely helpless during the time period which you are murdering them. And then on top of that, um, against bosses, the critical strike damage is increased. Uh, where's the other one? It's um, uh, killing an enemy affected by Petrify grants you 25 spirit. So but basically, you pull everything in, you petrify them, right? At the same time, you kill them, and then you get 25 spirit back for every single monster that dies inside the pull-in. And it gets, it's, it's, it's kind of it's crazy, okay? It is kind of crazy. 
I was looking at this myself, and I, I, I thought about this one as the one that they were going to bring back for the Druid, and I had to say that this one seemed like a really good one because it, it's not, like, ridiculously overpowered, but it is one of those powers that, that definitely works very well with specific builds. If you're doing, like, a, a very heavy AoE build and you want to group up all the monsters, of course, um, you know, it, it depends on which ultimate you're using, but any of the ultimates will trigger the effects. Um, the only reason that you wouldn't want to use this, obviously, is, oh, well, if it's, if you're not using an ultimate. Um, now, the other thing is that you are going to have to balance it against your offensive or your regeneration or whatever it is you're using in your ring slots. The ring slots generally go to regenerative aspects. Um, if you're utilizing core skills and things like that, and if you're not, it goes to offensive aspects. And the ring slots are actually pretty important for building your character. So whether or not you can sacrifice one of your ring slots for the new malignant ring, well, it's going to be up to you guys. Um, I, I'd like to hear down in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think you're going to work this into your build, or maybe... Maybe just keep it in your inventory while you're doing regular monsters and then put something else on while you're running bosses. I don't know. Hmm. I really like that 9.3% willpower, though, or the 10.5% willpower. I feel like that's a lot of extra willpower, especially considering most druids usually have a pretty hefty amount of willpower. Anyway, uh, this thing does have some flavor text. It says, when I was born, I breathed in the wind and the storm, and they gave me life. When I die, I will breathe out and return that gift to the skies. A journal excerpt. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we're just talking about the new malignant rings that are coming on November 7th. And uh, as always, keep watching.